3. Speak and write. A. Read the story and answer the questions. Listen to the story first. Where's Mike? Last summer, Henry and his twin brother Mike decided to go camping in the mountains with their friends. One morning, Mike got up earlier than the rest of the boys, so he went for a walk in the woods while they were still sleeping. Suddenly, Henry woke up and shouted, Where's Mike? He looked very frightened. In the beginning, the other boys thought that he had had a nightmare. However, when they saw that Mike wasn't around, they got worried. They began calling his name, but there was no answer. Henry told the boys to follow him, and they did. They kept walking till, to everyone's surprise, they heard Mike crying for help. Henry was scared, and he started running faster and faster, until he reached the edge of a cliff. He couldn't believe his eyes. Mike was hanging off the edge. Fortunately, Henry found his twin just in time. He pulled his brother up and hugged him. He was relieved. Mike asked Henry, How did you know I was in trouble? But Henry didn't know what to say. He had just felt it. Where is Mike? Last summer, Henry and his twin brother... Look, Henry and Mike are twins. Twins are two brothers who were born at the same time. Decided to go camping in the mountains with their friends. One morning, Mike got up earlier than the rest of the boys. He woke up. Got up means woke up earlier than the rest of the boys. They were sleeping when he woke up, when he got up. So he went for a walk in the woods. Woods is like forest, an area that is full of trees. While they were still sleeping, suddenly, Henry woke up and shouted, Where's Mike? When you shout, you say something loudly. Where's Mike? He looked very frightened. In the beginning, at first, the boys thought that he had had a nightmare. A nightmare is a very bad dream. And maybe you're thinking that using had had here is a mistake. No, you can use had had. Let me tell you how. If I tell you that I had a breakfast an hour ago, what does that mean? That means I ate my breakfast before one hour. Had in my sentence is an action verb, a main verb. What if I want to change I had my breakfast from past simple to past perfect? When I say, I had my breakfast, this is past simple. What if I want to make it past perfect simple? Then I say, I had had my breakfast before I went to school. However, anyway, when they saw that Mike wasn't around, Mike wasn't here, they got worried. They knew that uh, Mike is lost. They began calling his name but there was no answer. Henry told the boys to follow him, and they did. They kept walking without stop, till to everyone's surprise, nobody expected that, they heard Mike crying for help. Help! Help! This is the meaning of crying for help. Help! Help! Henry was scared and he started running faster and faster until he reached the edge of a cliff. An edge is the farthest point from the center of something. Look at the picture here. The edge is right here. The end. The farthest point from the center. And this is a cliff, like an end of a mountain. He couldn't believe his eyes. It was very Strange for him, Mike was hanging off the edge, just like the boy in the picture, hanging off the edge. Fortunately, Henry found his twin just in time. He wasn't very late. He pulled his brother. When you pull someone, 
you hold him and you try to move him towards you. He pulled his brother up and hugged him. When you hug, you put your arm around someone to show that you love him. He was relieved. He was relaxed. Mike, Mike asked Henry, How did you know I was in trouble? How did you know that I needed help? But Henry didn't know what to say. He had just felt it. He had a feeling that his twin brother needs help. 1. What tenses does the writer use? Tenses like present perfect, past perfect, past simple, present simple, these are tenses. When it is possible, underline words and phrases in the story to justify your answers. When you find a tense that uh, the writer is using, put a line under it as a proof. Justify means as a proof. What tenses does the writer use? He uses past simple, past progressive, and past perfect simple. Now, the underlined verbs here are all past simple. Decided, got up, went, walk up, and you can finish reading the rest of them. Now, I used blue to underline verbs that are in past progressive, were still sleeping, was hanging. Now, I used green to underline verbs that are in past perfect simple, had had, and, and he had just felt it. 2. What words does the writer use to link ideas? Look, he uses in the beginning to link between his ideas and he uses when, a time expression, and tell, another time expression, and but, but is a linking word like and, but, because, all these are linking words. 3. What words does the writer use to describe feelings? Feelings like when you are happy, scared, excited. Now search for words that show feelings. Here they are. Frightened, worried, scared, relieved. 4. What is the purpose of each paragraph? How many paragraphs do we have? The first four lines are the first paragraph. And then the next nine lines are the second paragraph. And the third paragraph is the last four lines. What is the goal? What is the goal of each paragraph? Now read them to yourself and try to figure out what is the goal of writing paragraph one. Paragraph one introduces the main characters. Who are the main characters? Mike, his twin brother, Henry, and the boys and describes the setting of the story. What is the setting of the story? They went camping in the mountains with friends. These are the settings of our story. Paragraph 2 describes what happened. The events start in paragraph 2. Henry woke up and shouted, Where is Mike? He felt that his brother is missing. Paragraph 3 describes what happened in the end, what happened after he found his brother. So it describes what happened in the end and makes a comment on Henry's feelings. It tells you how Henry felt in the end. Now, why are we learning these things? What tenses does the writer use? What words does he use to link ideas? What words does he use to describe feelings? What is the goal of each paragraph? Why are we learning this? So we can write a similar story. Now it is your turn. Use the same tenses, past simple, past progressive, past perfect simple. Use the same linking words, like in the beginning, when. Use the same words, or you can use your own feelings, like excited, happy, 
nervous, frightened, amazed, to write three paragraphs similar to these. I let you do that on your own. Now we will move on to exercise C. Join the pairs of sentences 1 to 5 using the linking words. These are the linking words. So, as soon as, while, because, but, when, by the time, and as. More than one answer may be correct. We have two sentences. We will make them one by using these linking words. I heard a loud noise. I ran outside two sentences. How can we make them one? We can say that I ran outside because I heard a loud noise. Or we can also say I heard a loud noise so I ran outside. So more than one answer may be correct. So here are two answers. As soon as I heard a loud noise I ran outside or you can use when. I heard a loud noise, I, I ran outside. I also showed you how to use because and so. 2. We were exploring the cave. We found an old coin. Here are two possible ways to combine these two sentences. As we were exploring the cave, we found an old coin. Or while we were exploring the cave, we found an old coin. 3. The train left. Hamid arrived at the station. One way to answer this is to say the train had left by the time Hamid arrived at the station. You can also use when. When Hamid arrived at the station, the train had left. 4. The boys broke the neighbor's window. They are in big trouble. The boys are in big trouble because they broke the neighbor's window. Another way to combine these two sentences is to say the boys broke the neighbor's window so they are in big trouble. 5. Mike was exhausted. He stopped hiking. Mike was exhausted, so he stopped hiking. You can also use because. Because Mike was exhausted, he stopped hiking. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. And before I say goodbye, stay tuned for the workbook exercises. And goodbye.